Welcome to the University of New Hampshire. We are a top tier research university in the state's flagship. Here is where 13,000 students from across the state, country, and world come together as Wildcats to live and learn at one of the safest, most sustainable campuses in the country. Here is where students choose from more than 100 majors across five exceptional colleges and live at the heart of adventure and opportunity. Close enough to the mountains to smell the fresh air, close enough to the ocean to hear the waves, and close enough to Boston to access its cultural and professional resources. This is your next stop. Let's start exploring. You are here at the Memorial Union Building, or what we call the MUB. It's our student union building, but also so much more. We're all looking for that place beyond our dorm or classroom where we can just hang out, see people, and just generally feel connected to UNH. That's the MUB in a nutshell. A lot of fun spaces make up the MUB, like Union Court, which is a food court, study space, and event venue all rolled into one. Grabbing a table here is the original social media. You never know which friend or classmate you'll run into, and the best conversations are the ones you didn't expect. The MUB is also the home base for our more than 275 student clubs and organizations. Getting involved here will change your life at UNH. So don't be afraid to say hi, find people who share your interests, or just step outside your comfort zone. There are also our two movie theaters on the third floor. With screenings several evenings a week, it's a great way to relax and to have some fun with your hallmates after a busy day of class and work. It's totally free for students, and there's even a concession stand where you can stock up on your favorite movie snacks. I haven't even mentioned the lineup of incredible concerts UNH students plan and host here. Be sure to join the Student Committee on Popular Entertainment, or SCOPE, if you're interested in music. And all of that is just a piece of the MUB magic. So start exploring and find your favorite MUB hangout spot. You're here in front of Christensen Hall, one of the main residence halls just for first year students. 96% of first year students live on campus, which contributes to UNH's vibrant community feel. There are dozens of residence halls at UNH, each with its own layout, location, and personality. What freshmen like about living at first year dorms like Christensen is that everyone is new, like you. But there are many ways to call UNH home and make your space your own. From small close-knit environments to themed communities, that brings UNH Wildcats together around shared interests. You'll have a safe, comfortable space steps from everything and be surrounded by friendly people who are truly here for you, like the live-in director in every hall to the resident assistants on every floor. As you embark together on this exciting adventure of making UNH your home, this is where you'll start a new chapter and live side by side with people who will become lifelong friends. It's not just a dorm, it's a beginning. Welcome home. You are here on Main Street in downtown Durham, New Hampshire, right at the edge of campus. When you picture the classic New England college town, this is pretty much it. Great coffee shop that roasts its own beans and has amazing cookies? Check. Places to get a slice of pizza? Check. A safe, welcoming community? Durham is actually one of the top 10 safest college towns in the country. Everyone has their favorite spots. Some of us like breakfast at the Big Bean. Some of us like a fresh smoothie at the Juicery. Some of us like spicy Thai noodle soup at one of our two Thai restaurants. We talk about how many great places UNH students have easy access to, but Durham is literally right here. It's about a five minute walk from the center of campus. There are a lot of college towns and a lot of main streets, but downtown Durham is definitely our favorite. That's because it's ours. You are here in front of Holloway Commons, what students call HOCO. It's one of the three campus dining halls, HOCO, Philbrook, and Stillings. Think grabbing everyone on your floor to go to some of dining's incredible events, like Italian dinner night and Lunar New Year. Think choosing from an insane number of options, pasta, stir fry, all day breakfast, vegan, gluten free. And because of passionate student leadership and a university commitment to sustainability, campus dining sources a lot of its ingredients locally, even from our student-run organic farm, and runs an extensive compost and food waste prevention program. The daily dining hall menus are right on the UNH app, where you can easily find out which meals are vegan or allergen-free. In addition to our three great dining halls, there's also Union Court in the MUB, where you can get everything from salads to stir fry, and Wild Kitty, which features some of the best burgers and sandwiches around. Also be sure to check out our Green Star Certified Dairy Bar, where you can choose from dozens of ice cream flavors and organic cafe fare. But what would I eat here? That's the question, right? 
our answer, grab a plate. Hi all and welcome to Peter T. Paul College of Business and Economics, UNH's top ranked business school. I'm located in the Great Hall, which is truly the heart of our business school. Hall College has all the bona fides you'd expect of a nation-leading program, exceptional faculty who really know their stuff, a 95% undergraduate internship rate, and connections in nearby Boston, just an hour away by train. But the coolest thing about Paul College is how individualized it is. With one-on-one -on -one academic and career advising every step of the way, there's no one stereotypical business student, no cookie-cutter career path. As a result, what Paul College students do here and beyond is simply extraordinary. You are here at Kingsbury Hall, home to our College of Engineering and Physical Sciences, also known as SEPS. The community here is super close-knit, hardworking, and passionate. You'll find SEP students at innovative facilities across campus and the region, like working with robots at our Olson Advanced Manufacturing Center, or investigating the ocean at our Greg Marine Research Lab in Portsmouth Harbor. With UNH's ranking as a top public research university, you might also be surprised to learn that you don't have to be an upperclassman to get involved in truly game-changing research. Our professors visit freshman seminars to pitch their research projects. And freshmen in our signature Innovation Scholars program work on original research as an introduction to life at SEPS. As a result, more than 400 SEPS students work with professors in their research labs to study everything from space plasma to underwater robotics. There's no one standard SEPS student, and that's what makes SEPS, SEPS. You're here at Spalding Hall, our biological sciences building, and one of the hubs to our College of Life Science and Agriculture, or COLSA. It's undergoing some pretty incredible construction at the moment. This is where future students like you will learn, research, and collaborate. And it is just one of the many state-of-the-art COSA facilities. From real-world simulation labs, to research farms, to 250 acres of forest trails and streams. Whatever your path at COSA, you'll learn at some of the very best programs in the life sciences and agriculture, with the flexibility to orient your major around your unique interests. But what really defines COLSA is how much students here love science and the work they get to do together, whether in the field, the lab, the barn, the ocean. You get the idea. You are here at Hewitt Hall, the home of the College of Health and Human Services, or CHHS. This is where CHHS students thrive in top-rated programs, learn alongside inspiring faculty mentors, and join a compassionate and driven community. In our labs and research centers across campus, they apply their coursework in helping others, like at the Hands-On Nursing Simulation Lab or the Telehealth Practice Center, which even helped connect rural New Hampshire residents to care during the COVID-19 pandemic. CHHS students develop a strong foundation to turn a passion into a career. They make an impact at nearly every public school, clinic, and hospital in New Hampshire, and across the world, from our social work students service learning in the Dominican Republic to our nursing students helping patients in Ghana. What does it mean to be at CHHS? It means to be at the forefront of health and human services and finding your purpose serving others. You're here at Thompson Hall, or T Hall as we like to call it. You might hear T Hall before you even see it. Inside its belfry are centuries old bells that still ring out the hour. It's one of our beloved campus rhythms. This is where UNH begins. It's the university's first academic building and the heart of campus. Inside T Hall today is the office of UNH President James W. Dean Jr. But outside, that's wildcat territory. You'll study, hang out, and meet up with friends on T Hall lawn, no matter the season. And every fall, the university comes together here for one of our favorite traditions, U-Day. Our more than 275 student clubs and organizations set up shop across T Hall Lawn to get their peers involved. You'll hear current students say, I just walked across T Hall Lawn and knew UNH was for me. So get to know T Hall. You'll walk by it, you'll hear it, you'll orient yourself around it. And one day, as you're driving down Main Street, the view of it will let you know you're home. You're here at Hamilton Smith Hall, also known as Ham Smith. It's one of those classic UNH buildings. Historical architecture on the outside, 21st century everything on the inside. Ham Smith is the heart of our College of Liberal Arts, or COLA, which is the biggest college at UNH. It's home to an astounding number of majors and minors and the lion's share of courses in the university's discovery program. That's why you'll find state-of-the-art COLA labs and classrooms pretty much everywhere you go on campus 
from the Paul Creative Arts Center, where student creative work takes center stage, to Merkland Hall, where you'll hear students and faculty gabbing in just about every language under the sun. But what COLA students love most about their time here is the people. It's a big school made personal by incredible mentorship and small class sizes. And it's a close-knit community made global by the breadth of experiences available to you. You'll join a college where one-on-one -on -one relationships are the norm, and the classroom is a catalyst to connect, to contribute, to inspire. Right now, 96% of recent COLA grads are employed or furthering their education, which means you will be set up for success, however you define it. You are here at UNH's Career and Professional Success Office, or CAPS. This stop is dedicated to one of the most important numbers you'll hear today, 96%. That's the success rate of our 2019 class. Within six months of graduation, 96% of our 2019 graduates were either employed or furthering their education. Here's another key number. 78% of the class of 2019 completed at least one internship. But a lot of the magic happens here at CAPS too. Here, you'll meet career counselors dedicated to your college who will cheer you on every step of the way. This is the place to bring your career questions. Like, what will I do with this major? Answer, a lot. It can sometimes seem like you have to choose between a career-oriented pre-professional program or a traditional college experience. We're here to tell you that it's not either or. At UNH, you can keep exploring and still get to where you want to be. I'm here on Main Street in front of Thompson Hall by the Wildcat Transit bus stop, about ready to board the bus to Portsmouth. UNH runs the largest public transit fleet in the state, which should give you some idea of just how comprehensive and accessible your transit options will be, both on and off campus. First, there's our campus connector network, with routes to get you from point A to point B, wherever you are on campus. There are also three different off-campus Wildcat Transit routes, connecting you safely and easily to some of our favorite neighboring Seacoast cities, like Portsmouth and Dover. It's all free with your UNH ID, at your fingertips with live route information on the UNH app. And the buses run almost entirely by renewable energy sources like biodiesel. But that's just the beginning. We're also an Amtrak surf community, which means you can jump on the train at our on-campus station and zoom south to Boston or north to Portland, Maine. There are also zip cars available right on campus in nearby coach service to New York City, accessible by Wildcat Transit. Our students are always on the move, and it's pretty clear that UNH helps them get where they need to go in more ways than one. You are here outside of the Hamill Recreation Center, UNH's 18,000 square foot state-of-the-art fitness center. This is a campus that makes it easy to stay active and live a healthy lifestyle. Whether it's inside, like at the HRC, or out, like taking a guided trip with our incredible Outdoor Adventures program. Whether you're motivated by reaching new heights, like at our bouldering wall, or getting grounded, like at the many free yoga and meditation classes in our exercise studios, you'll have incredible facilities for your favorite hobbies and tons of new opportunities to get involved in learning something new. So, it's your serve, your lane, your team, at your speed. Whatever moves you, it's here. You're here at College Woods. It's one of the biggest reasons why we're a Sierra Club pool school for students who love the outdoors. A 250 acre reason to be exact. That's right, our on-campus College Woods is 250 acres of walking, running, and skiing trails, fresh air, outdoor classrooms, creative inspiration, pine trees and streams, fascinating ecosystems and living laboratories. Whatever your starting point, this is way more than a walk in the woods. 